Here is an overview of the Quickly Maps block. A map block can be useful on a website to enable users to swiftly get directions to your business, saving them from opening a new tab to look up directions for themselves, resulting in them leaving your website. The way it works in Quickly is, Google Maps is automatically embedded. In the Gutenberg editor, we can add a Maps block. The reason our Maps block isn't displaying anything but this oops message is because we don't have an API key on this installation, which is essential to have in order for this block to work. An API key is a unique identifier that authenticates requests associated with your project for usage and billing purposes. By identifying the calling project, you can use API keys to associate usage information with that project. API keys allow the Extensible Service Proxy ESP, to reject calls from projects that haven't been granted access or enabled in the API. Don't worry, getting a Maps API key comes at no charge. To obtain your own API key, simply head to the Google Maps platform and follow the step-by-step -step guide. Once you have obtained the golden ticket, I mean API, head to your WordPress dashboard and then to your Quickly dashboard. Or directly select the Add your Google Maps API key, which will redirect you to the settings page. Here, find the Google Maps API dropdown and paste it in. By default, the Maps block doesn't display any location since we haven't determined one. You can easily do so in the Settings tab in the Search Places text area by typing in your desired location. And voila, the map automatically updates and displays the expected location. You could leave it here and be on your merry way. However, there are many more settings that can be added to this block for maximum usability. The Settings tab allows you to customize how users interact with the map. The Name property allows you to be more specific about your address. For example, you could add the building or floor number. For example, I can add a street name and level number. On the front end, when I select the pinpoint, the information I specified is present. Next, the Zoom property allows you to change how zoomed in or out your map is. 0 being the most zoomed out value and 22 being the most zoomed in value. So, if I bring up or down the zoom value, you can see its immediate effect. Next, we have a whole group of toggles that basically allow you to enable slash disable maps properties according to you and your user's needs. The full screen property once toggled allows users to make the map full screen for better navigation. The map types property allows users to switch between a plan or satellite view. The Zoom property allows users to use a Zoom menu, allowing them to zoom in and out with, which can be a nice alternative to them doing it manually, which can be quite finicky. The Scale property adds a scale measurement to the map, which changes appropriately and accordingly to the zoom used. The Street View property allows users to view the map from the street view. And lastly, the Rotate property allows users to rotate the map without having to do it manually, which once again can help users experience. Of course, you can have all these properties toggled on or have them all disabled. It's up to you. In the Sizing tab, you can determine your map's width and height. In the Style tab, customize the map style by selecting the one that tickles your fancy. To reset the map's style, simply select the first default style. Moving onwards and upwards, 
The Layout tab allows you to set the display of the block, meaning how the elements will be placed in relation to the block. This is made available since any block can be added to the Quickly Maps block, allowing you a fine control design. For example, the maps can be used as a background with a contact form placed on top of it. To give you a better idea of this, I will swiftly build this very concept. And there you have it. We have a contact form which is contained in the maps block, which remains functional. Last but not least, the maps block is of course responsive, meaning on different screen sizes, the appearance of the block can be modified suitably. So on tablet and mobile view, you can change the size of items and so on to make them appropriate. As you can see, when we change between different screen sizes, our maps block takes on the different appropriate appearance that we styled. And that's the way the Quickly Maps block works.